welcome to Jurassic Park. Uh, <laughs> um, to, to Movie Monday, where we watch Jurassic Park. Uh, like normal human beings, uh, we watched this one last. <laughs> so we've seen all the other ones already. By the way, we should just mention this is the first Jurassic yes. Park. Not, not two, yes. not three. <laughs> the first one yeah if you want to hear our thoughts on the other like four movies just watch the 300 movie challenge it was awful it was an experience <laughs> it, well two and three were just like not good it yeah. was awful it was an experience and then four and five were awful <laughs> yeah. yeah so um we finally watched the first one the reason we didn't was because this was released in 93 and we started our challenge with uh 94 um 93 or was it 90 no this is 93 um oh. in fact so for a few years uh before a certain boat film came out a couple years later this was the highest grossing film of all time right oh, wow. and was the first i believe the first film to gross over one billion dollars oh so, wow uh, it just goes to show that instead of a theme park you should have just made a movie <laughs> seriously <laughs> um but, like, because, that you know, everyone... I mean, there's not really, like, big plot twists in this, but, like, everyone knows the general, like, mm. plot setup and sort of mm. themes and stuff like that. Um, that said, though, I, I don't... I feel like I have heard at least someone talk about this a little bit, but I feel like a lot more people should kind of note that, like, the setup of this film is, like, a giant, like, thing on, like, late-stage capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> they get, like there's so much stuff for, like the first half where they're like you know again oh we spared no expense and all that but then there's like all this stuff where it's like oh your security is spent on one guy who's underpaid and to, to handle like the automation yeah. and how it's like yeah. oh no like don't you know we I could save we the people but like it. then we might like you know have to kill the dinosaurs and all like and the whole thing about like the guy like oh you know we could make so much money and it's like yeah like like you could really easily turn like with very few changes have John Hammond be this, like, basically be the villain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, they sort of, like, kind of redeem him at the end, sort of, and also, like, just the general presentation around him is like, look at this entrepreneur, and it's just like, mm. but anyway. I was gonna say, I think that's one element that gets lost in the other movies, because here, yeah, I, I kind of appreciated John Hammond's character a little bit, where it was kind of like... It's evident that he had a dream. Because the thing with the American dream... <laughs> the American <laughs> dream. But, but the thing is, is it's like, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to dream it and achieve it. But the thing is, is that he achieved it, but he... There, there are a lot of ethics and stuff with it, and I think it's like a good way to explore, as Valen said, that this is what happens in capitalism. Yeah, you can achieve it with lots of money and everything, but then in the end, he almost lost like his two grandchildren, which I think is a snapback point for him. Where, yeah, he's still like a morally great character and stuff like that, but I think if they made him the villain, it would have cheapened it a little bit. Mm. cheapened it in the sense like in the other movies it's like like how the villains because i don't even Most remember how twirling villains well no, see that's yeah. the thing i was about to say i was like i don't really remember them that well because at least like the first two we saw almost like three years ago um yeah but like from what i remember most of, at least some of the villains the whole thing was like oh these people want to use the dinosaurs for their own selfish benefits and i'm like well that's kind of what you're doing here already so like <laughs> why is it it's not that different where it's like you know oh they want to like make money off the dinosaurs it's like you were gonna make money off the dinosaurs so like yeah. it's it's not yeah th th that's more of like a problem with the sequels than this but yeah so there's that and i don't know okay i I'm kind of, like, a little bit surprised in how I feel about after watching this. Because... There... I, I don't know, okay. I, this is gonna make me sound shitty, but, like, I expected to like this more than I did. Now, granted, I oh still God, overall... thank you! I thank did you. like this, but, like... There's just some dumb shit in this movie. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's... It, Basically, I can see, okay, 
with all the problems that the sequels have had, I could see where the problems came from. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, the script's kind of bad a lot of the time. Like, a lot of the dialogue is, like, really dumb. And, like... And, and like, uh, okay. Some characters don't make sense to me. Like, well, for one... Um, Jeff Goldblum? Okay, so his here's... I get. I Maybe I just don't remember very well, but wasn't his, like, character in the second movie, like, kind of like a jaded asshole? Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, not what he is here at all. So, like, how did you go from there to there? <laughs> I expected him to be in the movie more. Yeah, he kind of didn't really matter. Yeah. And then, like... Uh, oh, and the whole thing about, like, how he keeps going on about chaos theory and that, like, the other scientists don't know what chaos theory is. I'm like, that bullshit. Like, he, come on. I I knew what that was when I was, like, 15 without even watching movies like this. It's like, come on. And I, great, I'm not saying everyone should know about that. But, like, if you have are, you know, an actual scientist of any sort of scientific background, you know what chaos theory is. It's, like, stuff like that. And then also just, again, there's a lot of, like, plot stuff that's, like, Okay, I'm not going to get into the whole, like, scientific inaccuracies because everyone knows a lot about that kind of stuff and the whole thing about, like, yeah, frog DNA, that would work and, you know, shit like that. But, like, there's just a lot of stuff that's, like, it's kind of stupid. And, like, it doesn't, like, make it, like, completely, like, oh, wow, this movie's therefore bad. But, like, it's enough to the point where I couldn't get as invested as I felt I should have been. I don't know. The only thing that I can that I can say that I think this film actually, com again, compared to its sequels, that this film does much better is building tension. Mm -hmm. This film is yeah. actually really good at building tension, and I think a lot of that is the fact that like it actually is fairly slow at points, and there's a lot of moments where there's no music. Yeah. And I think that helps a lot. So that's kind of like the main thing that like actually does put it for me into like a positive light. But I still was sort of like surprised that there's just a good amount of dumb shit in this movie as well. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone else feel similarly? For the most part, I just feel rather lukewarm about it, and I don't know, maybe in the end, the fair conclusion is that Jurassic Park is just not for me. Like, I, I used to watch, like, the, you know, the prehistoric planet documentary type things oh when I was God. a kid. I've seen so much of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so I thought, okay, I mean, seeing the dinosaurs in action, maybe from the first one, since it's so beloved, like, maybe I'll understand. But I guess since it's kind of mixed in with the whole monster movie thing, which is not my thing, I, it's just not something that I really connect with. Um, yeah, I... I don't know, to me, like, almost, like, the monster element was, like, the best part of it, in a sense, because it actually, like, again, the use of tension is actually done well, but... I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm di I, I guess I'm the weird factor here. Oh, you, you enjoyed Because I actually this? enjoyed it more than I thought it was oh, going Oh, okay. To. Well, I mean, clearly you're not alone, so, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, see, I thought, I thought I would be in my end's boat, where I was, like, this, because... My memory of this movie is that now I know what scene I saw. It was that first scene where that guy got, like, basically eaten and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that, that that's kind of unnerving. So, <laughs> I That was the only scene I've seen at the movie. And then Mom would take when we, when Jurassic, like, the Jurassic Park ride or something was in Disney World originally. We would go on that ride, and I was terrified of that ride, too. And then when it got moved to Universal, I was terrified of the... Basically, there's a trend. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like... So then when we watched the sequels and everything, I was like, this, what was I afraid of? This is still pretty stupid and everything. And I was like, wow, this is sad. So when coming into this movie, I was like, this is not going to be a movie that's going to be for me. I already can see that in my limelight. So then... I was actually surprised that I ended up liking it more than I thought I was going to like it. I think the thing is, I agree with Valen that the monster element, it, it does tension really well, and I was also surprised that I didn't, like, hate, there was no, like, I mean, compared to, like, the other movies and everything, there's no annoying characters. Like, you don't That's really true. see the, yeah. you yeah. don't see the lawyer 
because that's the main thing with the other movies. There's no, it's like floundered with like a bunch of like tropes and like um, him just generally really annoying characters, and you already know like who's gonna backstab who and and who's gonna get eaten first and stuff like that. And the thing here is, even though like the like the son, like Nedry, and then the lawyer. They're kind of annoying, but then the thing is, they're not annoying to the extent where you can't watch them on screen, and they're not there for that long either. Mm. Yeah, they got killed off really fast. Yeah. 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 No, I, I agree. The characters definitely nowhere near as annoying as some of the characters of the other oh, movies. No. That's and actually, um, the I think actually overall, uh, you have a few issues here and there, but overall, I think actually the kids actually are pretty good in terms of like be, you know acting actually acting like kids, but like not yeah. like being super annoying about it either. So yeah. 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 I think the kids got the best part of the parts of the script, actually. I think the kids, and then I also Ellie, I think was okay too. Yeah. Yeah. At least compared to like her, like <laughs> the the other screaming woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, the characterization I can't really think of a problem with anyway. Again, the whole thing with like the. Um, when I was talking about with uh, Jeff Goldblum's character, I don't like dislike him. I just feel like he's kind of I found him weird. Really funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I just I can compared to how he was in the second one. I'm like, you were a completely different person. And then also, yeah, I just like expected him to like do more, and he kind of didn't. So, um, but yeah, characterization. I don't really have a problem with that. Actually, I, I did not know that Samuel Jackson was in this movie, <laughs> like at I all. Didn't I didn't either. Actually... either. Then I was like, isn't that Sam Jackson? I was like, he's so like normal. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know, like, I I do think that a lot of the dialogue was, like, kind of heavy-handed and stuff, um, personally, and, like, I don't know, I just, I did not get as sucked into it as I thought I would, but, I, again, I don't think it's bad, I, it's clearly better than, like, the other ones, and I would rate it positively, but I, um, I don't know, I thought I would like this a bit more than I did, so. I think the way I'm looking at it is that each individual part is, like, good to okay like you know mm. some of the dialogue is kind of weird but like the characterization is pretty decent but i think just as a whole product uh i'm not super invested in it you have know, there's kind of like no reason for you to like watch this over like something else kind of is that yeah. what you're thinking yeah mm. yeah 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 i could definitely see I... like at the time you know when this came out of course and no one seen anything like this before that you know that the effects and stuff would add an element to that as well. Um, yeah, definitely. Though, though I will, I, I will say that like I've seen some people say that like the effects in this movie are like still like to this day like look real, and I'm like, mm, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> definitely, like when they're in like the daytime, the daytime, and like outside, there's like kind of like a bit of like a sheen over them that looks a little weird. I, I, for the time, very good and still impressive. I'm just saying, like, they don't, like, look, like, better than, like, c CGI now, right? Which I have seen some people argue, and I'm like, mm, I would not go that far. But I, I feel like it's kind of like, Alan, you remember how you were talking about, like, how they remastered the Star Wars, like, the original trilogy? Oh, and, yeah. Like, how... And they put the CGI things in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's one of those cases where it's like, yeah, they... Like, the original effects and stuff, they were good for their time, and I feel like they add, like, a certain element to it where they don't have to- you don't have to acknowledge them as, like, this super realistic thing, kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. You can kind of just, yeah, appreciate it as, like, a thing of its time, like- Yeah, no, they don't- they don't, they don't make... stick out and it's like, ooh, it's ugly, right? So it's- yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah, that, exactly. yeah. It's like, just- Kind of a pre it doesn't have to be super realistic for it doesn't have to hold up for like 20 years i mean you, you could just appreciate it for yeah. like the product that it is of its time and stuff and that's fine <laughs> yeah i that, yeah again i'm not saying the effects are bad but i just think some people sort of like overplayed them a little bit too much yeah, yeah, yeah that's what i mean i'm like you, the, the people that overplay it it's kind of like you, you could just accept it for what it is mm -hmm. just say that it's good for like a 90s thing you, you don't have to be like yeah they still hold up for like Oh god, 30 years. Yeah, I'm just comparing it. I'm like, I'm just like this, and then there's like, I don't know. What's the, another example? It's like, I'm thinking of like, again, yeah, fully CGI characters, or characters, quote unquote, dinosaurs, but like this versus like Thanos. And I'm like, 
you can't say that the dinosaurs here look better than Thanos. Like they did, they don't, right? But like they kind of shouldn't, to be fair. You know what I mean? So yeah. yeah, but they still they still look pretty good overall. Um, I do think the one of the main thing, the one of the things that help with the effects is that there are a lot of scenes where it's like an animatronic or like a puppet. Yeah. I so because of that, your brain sort of like fills in the gaps and sort of like so when you see like the puppet and then you see the CGI, your brain sort of like just is like, oh, it's the same, right? And yeah. so it that helps a lot. Um, and of course, again, like the whole like t the big T Rex scene in the rain that helps where that look that does look still pretty damn good, and that's mostly yeah. because of the lighting being very minimal and very direct. Mm -hmm. So it's really it's a lot easier to make that look better than like here's an open field, you know. So yeah. um, oh man, yeah. like when you mentioned that, I will say the night shots in this movie you can actually see what's happening. Oh yes, compared that's to some good. of the night shots that are done now. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Oh man, it I was really like, oh, wow, I can actually see what's happening. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's. I think good. my random trivia effect, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think, like, the T Rex roar is actually. Do you guys know what they used for the T Rex? Uh, I feel like I've read it, like, uh... several times, but I don't remember right now. It, it was a chihuahua. <laughs> a chihuahua. Like, super slowed down or something. Yeah, super slowed down. It's like a chihuahua barking, but it's super slowed down. <laughs> I just, when I heard it, I was like, yeah, wow. I, I would have never have guessed that this was a little tiny <laughs> dog. <laughs> tiny arms. Yeah. It's a tiny arms. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting to, like, look and see, you know, what other things they used. Because, again, like, they, this is kind of the first thing to really do that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, not just the visuals, also the sound. It's sort of like how, you know, a lot of the things that, like, the original Star Wars movies, not just in terms of the visuals, but also, like, a lot of the sound effects they had to, like, make with, like, kind of their own weird stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't really know how to segue into this, so I'm just going to kind of say this. Um... Early in the movie, there's a scene that's in uh, San Jose, Costa Rica. Um, and I've actually been there. Because um, I've one place outside of the country I've been to is Costa Rica. And when they first Ooh. showed the, the scene when there's like, you know, the guy's like getting food from like, like a small, like, you know, kind of open air thing. I'm like, this doesn't really look like San Jose. But then again, like, you know, it's, it's, it is the capital of Costa Rica. So it's a fairly big place. And, you know, it's this is also would have been like... 20 years before I was there so you know things can change but then they pan over and then you see the ocean and I'm like San Jose is in the middle of the country <laughs> it is not on the beach <laughs> so you fail <laughs> so, they literally could have chosen any other location that's actually <laughs> no, yeah, literally like I should just show you a map it's literally right in the middle <laughs> Of there will Costa Rica. be a map on the screen. Guys. Well, maybe I'm. I might be too lazy. You look it up your damn self. But I'll. It's just like kind of funny that I'm like you could have. Yeah, literally chosen any other place. See, it's right oh, in the yeah. middle. <laughs> <laughs> there's no ocean, and there's not even like a lake or anything. So it can't be like anything like that. So it's just like, good job. Uh, wow. <laughs> so I don't know. I just wanted to point that out. Um, and again, like I've said, there's a ton of, you know, things that are, like, inaccurate in terms of the dinosaurs. And again, a lot of people say, like, oh, but it's, like, stuff that we learned about after the movie came out. Sure, some of it is, but a lot of it's not. Like, we knew that velociraptors were, like, were, like, a lot smaller, like, already. Um, mm -hmm. And, like, that was, yeah, that was the main one. And I've heard, like, some argue that, like, um... Well, the dinosaurs can still be, like, inaccurate to how we know, because, again, the whole thing is they, like, put, like, frog DNA into them so that, like, made them look but, different but or whatever. But then like, how does frog DNA make them well, think? Right, so there's that, but then also yeah. the fact that, like, again, like, in the very beginning, when he, when they're, the, the, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, <laughs> Alan. Um, <laughs> every time anyone ever said his name, I always thought of that clip, and I'm just like, I can't do this. <laughs> but that, and then, um, Ellen, when they were digging in Montana, because even then they had, like, a skeleton, and he showed, like, the boy this, like, here's this velociraptor claw, and I'm just like, yeah, but, like, it's not, though. <laughs> so, you know. Um, there are other raptor species that were that big, but they weren't velociraptor. Whatever. doesn't really matter. Um, but I still stand by. I want 
feathery dinosaurs in my movie. <laughs> Damn it. I, I do want, too. I want that they to be a thing. They would look so much cooler. I know. And yeah. I know that, like, probably one factor is that, like, it'd be way harder to animate um, the CG with all the feathers. But still, um, there should be at least Make something. Make them colorful, please. Yeah, that too. I mean, Steven Spielberg made Avatar. I, I think <laughs> anything's possible for him. If he wants feathery dinosaurs, he can... Wait, make feathery dinosaurs. James, James Cameron made Avatar. Oh, never mind. Wait, it was? It Actually, might. wait, Spielberg might have been in full? Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, but still, yeah, they definitely, like, I want feathery stuff because it would be interesting. And also, I've said this before, but I also want, like, other eras of prehistoric animals. But anyway. Um... I would have appreciated if they had condors. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, no, they, literally it's like Jurassic Park and it's just like a bunch of like pigeons on stilts. <laughs> but I mean, that would have been like, yeah, it's like, when he brought up that fact, it's like, yeah, you, could, you, you can like bring back the dodo. <laughs> yes, please bring back the dodo. Or like, you know, that, or, or, oh, remember the whole thing about how they found like a woolly mammoth that was like, like not like completely fossilized. It still had like a bit of like, like skin on it or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. They have like so they have like little baby mammoths. Uh, like that would have made way more sense than <laughs> dinosaurs. I can see uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> you could have a little dodo that you can be like, I'm sorry that we put you to extinction once. Yep. Please just just enjoy yourselves now. <laughs> Think of the dodos. Think of the dodos and Animal Crossing guys, please. Yeah. I was Dodo thinking, everyone. you know what Not I actually concert. was thinking of? <laughs> what? The Dodos from Ice Age. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <sighs> the fucking watermelon. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway, okay. Well, are there any other thing to comment about this? Or are we going to get actual numerical ratings? I'm actually curious to see what the numbers we're all going to give it now, considering we kind of have a bit all different opinion a little bit. I mean, yeah. I feel like it's still the best out of all of the yes. five. Right? <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> clearly. That, that is without a doubt. So that would just kind of help everyone figure out what numbers you would have given all the other ones. Yeah, I think I, if I had to pick, um, I'd give two and three, like, Ors. Yeah, I think so too. And I'd give both worlds like twos. <laughs> <laughs> I feel see that's the thing now. Now that I know where it all came from, I'm like they literally like stole like the progression. Like Yeah, it all makes the others even worse. <laughs> Tyrannus they show the long neck dinosaurs, but they don't actually interact with long Oh yeah, there's so many scenes interact. that are exactly like that. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Except Damn. At least here they interact with the long neck dinosaurs. In the other movies, it's like, here are the long neck dinosaurs. All right, now we're back to the carnivores. And it's like, no, I want to interact with the vegetarian dinosaurs for once. Why can't we just. It's not always about the carnivores. <laughs> and then didn't the T Rex save the day in like one of the world and every movies? Every single oh, yeah. other movie, I think they. Because in the third one, wasn't there? Or... Oh, yeah, the Spinosaurus. The right. Spinosaurus. The T Rex saved it, and the world, the T Rex saved it. It just continues. And then, it yeah. Saves the day from Velociraptors again. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. Or, I don't even know. I don't, I don't want to think about those anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, okay, so for this, um, again, I, I, I did overall like it. Um, hmm. And, uh, not even to the point where it's like, oh, it's like slightly positive. No, it is positive. Um, but I think like it could have been stronger given, uh, again, like sort of the script being a bit tighter and some stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I do appreciate again, like the tension I think is done like legitimately very well. Um, so I think I'm going to balance that out and I am going to give it um, a seven. I think I'm also going to give it a seven. Are you thinking like higher seven? I'm thinking like mid seven. Okay. It's it, it's definitely not a movie that I would come back to, but it's a movie that I strangely enjoyed more than I expected to. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking like low seven, so. But. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out which number I want to do, because, like, yeah, I think things are done well. It's just the overall package I was a little bit underwhelmed by, I suppose. Which Maybe my expectations so were a little bit high. Yeah. Maybe uh, per too. Perhaps I will give it a high six. Mm. Yeah, I mean, again, if... if... Would you say still, like, the overall experience, though, is, like, positive yeah, to some degree, right? Yeah, overall positive. Yeah. I mean, like, the end, like the, the climax and the ending were done pretty well. It's, like, I guess the thing is that I liked kind of the part where they, like, got out of the car and they, like, saw the Triceratops and they, like, got lost in the rain and then I liked the end. But all the other parts I was kind of lukewarm about. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, that... that... Sounds like a six to me, kind of, so... Yeah, that sounds like a six. So, okay. Probably someone is disappointed by that score overall, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> um, hey, it's still passing. It's still a C. <laughs> yeah. It's still, it's still better than all the other movies. Yes. In that part, it, we can all agree yes. on, hopefully. Yes, I'm... I'm and, 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 and again, it's all at least positive to a degree, <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> that's something. Um, that's, that's the main thing to take yeah. from it. I, I would be willing to see this again if the opportunity presented itself and there wasn't like something else to do. Um, whereas the other ones, no. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that works. In that I just sense. can't believe they messed like Jeff Goldberg's character, like <laughs> Goldblum. Goldblum. <laughs> Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry. Okay. Um. We'll see if my my actually gets her movies. Oh yeah. Hey, you have a more than fifty percent chance. Or are we gonna get the thing we know nothing about? Going from the thing that all of us knew something about at least. Yeah. Oh nope, we get October oh, Sky. I've been saved. <laughs> Yay! We get October we're Sky. October Sky, right? Yes, that's October Sky. I I guess we're going to another sciency, slightly more realistic film. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know anything about film. it. Uh, I I have seen this once, maybe twice, but this was like over ten years ago, so okay. I don't remember it like the specifics very well. But I remember liking it. So I also watched it like about ten years ago, and I remember liking it. So so we'll, we're in about the same boat, and then yeah. see how how things go. Although, it's not October, but, oh well. <laughs> okay. It's, it's October is already taken up by something else that yes. you viewers will find out when that time comes. Yep, we got a couple more months in the way first, so. Yep. yep. Alright, next up is October Sky. Bye! Bye! Bye!